but still a lot of guidance here where the American model was more on the western side, the European model more on the eastern side. So we're still at odds with the computer model forecast. And already that push of water inland is occurring and that's going to be that dangerous storm surge, which could be anywhere between 8 to 12 feet. Extreme wind warning has been issued. These are very rare. We're going to go back to home and not be able to recognize it. It's the sound of the river running through the bottom floor. And it was the massive storm surge that caused the most devastation and destruction. In Fort Myers in that area where the storm surge has been catastrophic. The water rose as high as 15 feet in Fort Myers Beach, destroying 900 structures and damaging thousands more. It's completely gone. I mean, it's, it's like it's wiped off the face of the earth. This is what Sanibel Island looked like before Ian. This is what it looked like after. You can really see the damage causeway. Are you guys okay? In Naples, the fire department walked through waist-high water to rescue people. Trees down, motorcycles down, cars crashed into each other. The numbers are staggering. According to the National Hurricane Center, Ian was responsible for over 150 deaths and more than $112 billion in damage, making it the third costliest hurricane in U.S. history. Only recently did we learn Ian was briefly a monster category five storm with 160 mile per hour winds before making landfall as a category four. You get all this stuff ready, but you really just don't think it's gonna happen to you. So what lessons did we learn from Hurricane Ian? Our team of hurricane experts weighs in. I'd say the lessons we learned from Hurricane Ian are to listen to all of the warnings whenever they're issued. Even outside of the cone, it's very important to heed the watches and warnings and be prepared for the impacts. The National Hurricane Center did an incredible job with Ian's cone of uncertainty. Yet, all public eyes were on a Tampa landfall 24 hours out. My friends in Southwest Florida would tell you today that they were surprised by the sudden evacuation orders that came for them on too short notice to act and leave.